sound for the do you need sound? No, no sound for this. My name is Crystal Hopkins and today I'm going to teach you how to be a rapper. Um, I thought that I was very special and that I knew how to do a lot of things, but when this presentation actually came along, I realized that I don't know how to do anything else besides um, make fun of other things. So, bear with me. So, today's top rappers, according to the Billboard charts, um, is Drake, Tyga, 50 Cent, J. Cole, and Jay-Z. So those are the guys who are making the big bucks right now. They're on top. They don't really look like gangster rappers compared to some of the rappers back in the 80s, but um, they're definitely pulling in a few millions and even uh, some billions for Jay-Z. So, some of the top age rappers and um, the ways that they got there. So just to give you a little bit of some rap facts. According to Hip Hop Come Up, which is a website that educates the public about new artists as well as um, old rap artists, rap started in the Bronx in the late 1970s and 80s. And one of the founding, founding fathers was DJ, was DJ Clive, which was known as Cool Herc, which is this gentleman right in the middle. And um, some of the more popular rappers of the 80s was uh, the Fat Boys, Curtis Blow, Grandmaster Flash, and the Furious Five and the Sugar Hill Gang mm -hmm. were some of the top rappers doing those things. I don't know if you guys remember some of their songs, but they're pretty cool. I wanted to give you some about it and know how long it would take on my presentation. So. so how did these rappers make it to the top? Well, according to Vanilla Ice, because he's very credible. No, I didn't, I didn't, use, I didn't use Vanilla Ice. <laughs> according to How.com, I just wanted to Google it to see if it would actually get any hits, and I actually got several yeah. hits. Yeah, I got several few hits on how to be a rapper. And um, so step one, according to How.com, was you have to learn the history of the previous rappers. Step two was you had to have attitude and personality. Step three, but you had to practice as though your life depends on it. Step four is you have to have a killer rap name, and that's how they word it. You have to have a killer rap name. <laughs> step five, you have to go public with your skills. And step six, of course, you have to land the contract. So while all that sounds, you know, really savvy and great, I have my own steps, and I think it's just about three of them. I think it's really easy if you ask me. So. According to Crystal, step one, you must have swagger. What is swagger, you ask? Wearing either overly baggy jeans or overly tight, as little Wayne seems to do these days, and just not caring who sees you. So you have to have an I don't care attitude. Mm -hmm. Step two, you have to create beef. <laughs> What is beef, you ask? <laughs> I do not mean a steak, so not actual meat. In the hip hop world, you create beef by talking about somebody's mama. Oh. <laughs> so example, your mama is so dumb, she tried to put her M&Ms in alphabetical order. <laughs> that's the funniest joke. But you talk about somebody's mama, they'll get mad enough. <laughs> now that you've created beef, the rapper has to respond. So, step number three, you say things that make absolutely no sense. I don't know if you guys have ever heard Lil Wayne rap, but if you carefully listen to his lyrics, this guy is a billionaire and he talks about absolutely nothing. Let me read you one of his, uh, <laughs> one of his, <laughs> one of his raps. The name of the song is A Millionaire. And here it goes. What y'all really wanted? Nah, y'all don't really do, y'all don't really want to do it. If hip hop is dead, I'm the embalming fluid. And I don't care who it be, I'm stepping to it. Notice I say it, cause to me, it ain't shit. Get it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you really, really don't. Thank you. Oh